Okay, I'm going to have to admit, this is probably one of the more contentious ideas that I've ever had here. But I'm going to go ahead with it anyway. Illidan Stormrage is himself one of the more contentious characters in the Warcraft saga. He's shown himself to be opportunistic and driven by his emotions. Still, the half-elf, half-demon has been one of the greatest champions in the fight against a Burning Legion. So... I have a second thing to admit, uh, I don't really understand the story of Warcraft anymore. The constant retcons and retelling of the backstory has confused the hell out of me. Illidan used to be portrayed as a coward, wussing out when confronted by Kil'jaeden and sending his army against the Lich King. That story was retconned to be that of Illidan merely baning allegiance to the Burning Legion. Only to buy himself time, so everything I say here may not be true if either the writers over at Blizzard simply decide it isn't in the future. Or maybe I'm just wrong. Hell. Ildin served a lot of masters. He served Queen Ashara, Sargeras, and killed Jaden at different times. But there was one force that he probably served, but was completely unaware of, and that was the Old Gods. The Old Gods stood in opposition to every other force in the world. The Elementals, the Burning Legion, the Scourge, the Horde, and the Alliance were all enemies of the Old Gods, because their goal, the corruption of the world soul of Azeroth, was kind of against everybody else's interests. So what did the old gods have to do with Illidan? He doesn't seem like he had any contact with them. After all, he did turn against Queen Ashara before she even made contact with the old gods. Well, it wasn't long after Illidan's release from prison that Lady Vash, under orders of Queen Ashara, led a group of Naga to join Illidan's forces. By this time, Ashara was definitely a puppet of the Old Gods. So, why did she throw her support behind somebody so flaky? I mean, after all, it wasn't long after the Naga joined Illidan that Illidan returned to the service of the Burning Legion, which was the biggest threat to the Old Gods' goals. Well, since the Old Gods have more than one enemy, they have to take every threat into consideration. The Burning Legion overall may have been the greatest enemy, but at the moment, the Lich King, with his undead army, was probably the more immediate threat. Kil'jaeden did want revenge against the Lich King for betraying the Legion, and Illidan was the weapon he chose for that. But this lined up with the goals of the Old Gods. Illidan would have been a powerful tool, but his untrustworthy nature would have made him a threat to demon masters he only served in name. The old gods hidden in the shadows would not make themselves known to Illidan and would therefore not become victim to his treachery. So far, their plan seems to have been a success. I mean, while Illidan did fail to kill the Lich King, Arthas did eventually die. Illidan was much more successful in his fight against the Burning Legion. Killed Jaden was killed and Sargeras was imprisoned, pushing the Legion out of Azeroth. With the two biggest threats to the old gods removed, Illidan was no longer of use to the creatures of the void. Illidan did seem to be somewhat distrustful of the Naga, announcing during the Tomb of Zargaris raid that the Naga were tools used for Illidan's goals. This implied a lack of trust to his Naga benefactors, but that doesn't mean he wasn't being manipulated by them. To summarize, three and a half minutes of rambling in the 15 seconds. The old gods, through the Naga, manipulated Illidan to remove the obstacle standing in their way. This was indirect, with the demon hunter having no idea he was a puppet. So was Illidan unknowingly fighting for the old gods? Use that comment section and tell me what you think.